This is just beautiful. I love the Oregon coast, traveling up and down it. I think it's one of the most rugged scenic coastlines on the Pacific coast. Well, we filled up with gas and the girls are ready to keep going. We've got a couple hours yet to get to our destination for tonight, so better keep moving on. One of my favorite spots to pull off heading south on the Oregon coast is Cape Perpetua. From the viewpoint on top of the bluff, you have a majestic view looking south down the Oregon coast. And if you take the little walk around the corner to the stone castle, you can also look north. Here the dogs and I were watching a blue whale out just off the coastline, frolicking in the ocean, diving and spouting for quite a while. It was quite a scene, and I was glad I caught it. This is our campsite here at Wumpaqua Lighthouse Campgrounds. This is a small campground, but very well set up with large clean bathrooms and showers and cleaning facilities, and a trail that goes down to a long narrow lake that has a mile long walk around it that ends at the far end to a sandy beach where people can put in the kayaks and uh, float boards. The girls have been just loving it here. There's blue jays, chipmunks, all kinds of critters that keep Sarah's attention and plenty of people that come by to pet Kate. For a small campground they have very spacious and clean bathrooms and showers for the campers to use. Up here on the hill, I'll do a 180. They have yurts and they have cabins, tent sites, power sites. There's us over there. I've got the towel on my hood. Over there is one of the really nice cabins. Another cabin and some more campsites up there. It's like one large loop. And we are in campsite 37 in the main loop. If you follow it out to the road, you can hang a right and go to US 101 or hang a left, and that'll take you to the end of the lake that has a picnic grounds, parking area, and a sandy beach to launch your kayaks or paddle boards. Also, you continue up that hill to the Umpqua Lighthouse and observatory for gray whales migrating up and down the coast. There's also a Umpqua Lighthouse Museum and a little gift shop and cafe there and it's all within a, a two minute drive from the campgrounds here so this is quite quite well organized and everything's really close and if you want to like many people here seem to be doing just drive your boat down to the town of Winchester and head out on the Umpqua River to the coast and do salmon fishing or crabbing which is the main activity right now. Here's the Lake Marie Trail. It's a easy walk around a long lake, one mile loop, and it has different ways back up to different areas of the campgrounds here. And it ends at the far right end of the lake in a real nice sandy beach where people can put in their little kayaks or boards and just paddle around the lake. This is the Umpqua River Lighthouse. Just less than a five minute drive up the hill from where the 
Umpqua Lighthouse Campgrounds are, which has a lookout station for the migrating gray whales up and down the Pacific coast. And down below, you can hear the guys down there in their sand dune buggies and toys playing in the sand dunes. Out there is the jetty and the mouth of the Umpqua River coming out of the hills to the right here. And just around the corner from where you park on the bluff overlooking the ocean is a little gift shop here with a nice little cafe making great food. And down there that building is the Umpqua River Lighthouse Museum which is quite an informative place to go if you like lighthouses and the history of the Pacific Northwest. So this is a pretty nice little place all together here, right? Less than five minute drive up from the campgrounds at the Umpqua Lighthouse Campgrounds. Well, I was told something very interesting from a visitor guide here. That structure we're looking at is maintained by the Coast Guard here and they control all boats going in and out of the Umpqua River mouth out to the ocean and most everybody out there you see is salmon fishing. The salmon are running heavy and all the little specks in front of us in that triangular rock cove is the Triangle Oyster Company. Those are huge barrels floating on top with oysters hanging down below them. So, learn something new today. That's an oyster farm. And those are all huge barrels floating, hanging oysters down below them. All those guys out there are fishing for salmon that are running now at the mouth of the Umpqua River. And you can see the jetties. And there's the Coast Guard station that's manned. In bad weather, they'll put flags up for gale warnings. And they have the power to even close the mouth of the Umpqua River for all boating. And if you go past that, they will get on their loudspeakers and blast you with stop and reverse <laughs> so hey girls what are you doing huh are you gonna come out Sarah or are you just gonna sit there oh are you guys gonna sit there and just watch me out here huh yeah what's that cars going by pulling boats That's got an odd looking trailer. Huh? What do you see? Bird? Do you see a bird too, Kate? Huh? You guys, you're so funny. Well, we cleaned up our campsite, cleaned up our RV, and went for one more walk around the lake. But Sarah had her mind on looking for squirrels and birds and just couldn't shake the notion they were everywhere. So, from our Umpqua campground, site we wish you happy trails and woof woof